In this video, we're going to talk about how to negotiate with your mortgage company after your mortgage forbearance expires. Let's get started. <music> everyone, I'm Rindy from Ask Rindy and welcome to the number one community for real estate, income and credit. So if you're looking for a solution and you need help on how to negotiate with your mortgage company after your mortgage forbearance has expired, make sure you watch the video to the end and leave a comment below if you need help with anything. So about a year ago as the pandemic started, many lenders gave out forbearances to mortgagors. Now for those of you who may not know, a forbearance is basically a suspension of your mortgage payment. It allows you to be able to suspend your mortgage payment for a time period where you don't have to pay and you're not going to accrue uh, late charges and also interest on that. Also, you don't get any negative reporting done to the credit agency. So it's a way to pretty much hold your loan in a suspense while you're actually sorting out whatever and then when they're timed or the maturity time that you're being given to be able to restart your mortgage payments, you will actually restart that mortgage payment. So generally, most lenders actually have run the course of giving forbearances up to 12 months. We saw that with FHA mortgages, they were automatically uh, queuing their mortgages for that, that they were giving them 12 months. However, on the conventional side, some lenders had cooperated and given their uh, mortgage orders up to 12 months, but they weren't on the hook for that because they weren't obligated to. So some actually went stopped as short as six months, some went to nine months, some went to 12 months. So now where we are now is that all of these are now coming due where we're at the 12 month mark. We are a year later now from when all of this started and kicked off and most lenders including FHA are at the tipping point. They're at this point now where there's no more allowance that they can give to homeowners. There's no more allowance they can give to mortgagors. And a lot of people are finding themselves in a position now where they have to figure out how to negotiate with their mortgage company. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to share with you two things that you need to know and be aware of that the lenders are doing right now. This is a very quick video and I'm just going to touch on this. So number one, the first thing you need to be aware of is that the lenders are looking to have your loan under 90 days of delinquency. So at their, as they are queuing up to figure out how they're going to position and what they're going to offer you, there will be options that they may put on the table to be able to help you work things out. But what you need to be aware of is that most of the lenders are leaning more towards repayment plans. So a repayment plan, basically, what it does is that it takes your arrearages. So let's say you have not paid for a year. Well, they're going to take that money and they're going to see, based on your loan and based on everything that they're, that that really surrounds your loan, your schedule, how much uh, you owe on the property, your mortgage balance, all those things, and they're going to spread that repayment over a certain number of months that you'll basically have on top of your mortgage payment to pay. So if you are in a position where you haven't gotten a job yet, uh, this may not be something that you can do. If you are in a position where you're part-time, you're not fully back at the full you know, um, range of making money the way you were before, this may not be something you you can do. So this is where negotiating is, is happening with the mortgage companies currently by many homeowners and they're finding themselves in a stuck position because the lenders now have run the course and the federal government can look at them and say, yeah, you know, you really have tried, you've done your part to give them up to 12 months of forbearance of suspension of mortgage payments. Now those payments have to be repaid. So some people have actually taken the arrearages and put it on the back end of the loan. However, it all depends on your mortgage balance, your mortgage, your principal, uh, what you really, what, what your circumstances is with your loan. Because if the, if the lender sees that that's not going to be conducive, they're not going to offer you that. So what's happening is that as a homeowner, you're reaching out to, to the lender to see what can be negotiated. And they're coming back to you and they're saying, well, this is what we can do based on what we're seeing. We can work with you here. We can work with you here. We can't do this. Many homeowners are either looking to try to see if they can get a further forbearance. And what they're finding out is that the lender is saying they're not going to do that. They're not obligated to go over a 12-month forbearance period. But what they will do is give you a repayment plan. So you just need to be aware of this. And when you contact the lenders, most of the lenders are leaning more towards saying, okay, we can't go further on the forbearance. However, we can work with you on a repayment plan. That means that we're going to take these arrearages and we will actually give you uh, the time to be able to pay that on top of your resumed mortgage payments. The other option that they're giving you is really like a partial payment. So me meaning that they'll take uh, or they will obligate you to pay a lump sum, which is short of the entire 12 months that you owe. However, they want to make sure that you are bringing your loan down 
under 90 days of delinquency. And that's important because as we know, 90 days is the point of no return. It's a point of really foreclosure. So what you're, you're doing is you're bringing your loan down under the, the, the threat of foreclosure and then you're taking the, the, uh, those other two or three months and you're then repaying it on top of your other mortgage. So really what's happening right now is that things are resuming. As far as the lenders are concerned, they are now resuming the process. Um, there are some things here and there where you know there's still moratoriums in place, and there are a lot of people who are affected by this. Small landlords, in particular, uh, are really some of them are homeless. Some of them have been affected because there are rules and uh, really guide guides in place to be able to protect tenants. Uh, some until uh, June, some until later than that. They're not even hearing cases in some cases until like May. So what's happening is that these things are now resuming and these people are going to slip into foreclosure if they cannot negotiate or come to terms with the lender. So the first thing you need to be aware of is the fact that they will require you to bring your loan in under 90 days of delinquency. The second thing that I want to highlight to you all, make you aware of is that there seems to be a big scheme going on with homeowners insurance. So this is something that you need to keep your eyes on because what we're finding now is that there are a lot of people whose mortgage payments are spiking and they're not catching it because they're thinking that the mortgage payment is spiking due to the fact that they have been in forbearance holding and they haven't made their payments in such a while. So there's a lot of escrow shortage shortages, escrow accounts that are, have been depleted because the lenders have been paying for the municipal uh, taxes, they've been paying for all the other things that are attached that come out of that escrow account. And when you find your new mortgage payment being much more, make sure that you take a look at your homeowner's insurance because the homeowner's insurance, what they're doing now is they're actually spiking policies without letting homeowners know. So this is something that we've seen in our group. We've seen that happen. So I'm sharing this with you just to highlight to you these things that you need to be aware of. When you look at your mortgage payment, make sure that if you see a change, contact them to find out what the homeowner's insurance is, if they've actually made any changes to your policy and make sure that you alert them to either reduce it to what it was or make it lower. Obviously, you want your expenses to be lower than higher. So that's very important. So these are just two quick tips I wanted to give you. If you are going through a situation where you're trying to negotiate with your mortgage company, trying to keep your property, trying to figure out what to do moving forward regarding uh, you know, restructuring after coming off either a 12-month, 9-month, or 6-month forbearance and you need help, please feel free to reach out to us. My email address is askrindynow at gmail.com. You can also reach us right on our website at askrindy.com. And we are experts in dealing with real estate solutions. We can help you navigate the process. We know exactly what to do regarding working with the lender if their loss mitigation options that they've given you don't work or working around that, knowing how and what uh, secret doors to go through to be able to help you get to the other side. So uh, I look forward to actually speaking and connecting with you. You can email me, askrindynow at gmail.com. Also reach out to us on our website. We have a plethora of information on not only just foreclosure, but also really real estate solutions overall. We're creative real estate entrepreneurs and we are very versed in this. Been doing this for over 19 years. So I look forward to connecting with you guys. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.